Hello and welcome Green Acres families. It is a great day to be a Charger. My name is Carly Hawkins and I have the pleasure of serving as a principal at Green Acres Middle School and am honored to host this wonderful promotion ceremony today. Today's event is an important one in the lives of our students and your families as it serves as a symbolic promotion from middle school to high school. In Visalia Unified, our goal is to provide all our students with limitless opportunities for their future, and we trust the years spent as a charger have prepared our students well for the rigors of high school. So today is not a graduation, but rather a next step in the future paths of your children. Parents, thank you for your support and the partnership you have offered our campus these last two interesting school years. I hope you are all very proud of the accomplishments your children have achieved. This eighth grade class, the high school class of 2025, is a noteworthy group of individuals, and we are very proud of their accomplishments. This class has characterized itself as an exceptionally positive group of students that works hard, gets involved, and does the right thing, even during the COVID-19 global pandemic. They are highly competitive in all areas, in academics, on the playing field, on the stage, and in academic competitions. In doing so, they brought pride to their families, their fellow students, and their school. To prove this, let me share some of the highlights of the accomplishments of this eighth grade class over the past two years, even during these challenging times. This class showed its academic prowess and made quite an impression. Over 60% of these eighth grade students earned academic achievement, either honor roll or principal's list for both semesters of this school year, which was more challenging than ever as we were all in distance learning until March. Also of note, the number of three semester CJSF members continued to be impressive with 13 chargers earning this top academic award. The Mass Super Bowl team made a strong showing during this year's first ever virtual competition. Many of our eighth grade students participated and were very competitive in last year's Tulare County Spelling Bee and also our State History Day as seventh grade students. And we are hopeful they will continue these academic passions as they head into high school. While in seventh grade, Caitlin Peterson, Miranda Rojas, Perez, and Jake Betancourt all made the state competition for the National History Day by placing at the top of Tulare County's competition. In the visual and performing arts program at GAMS, our orchestra, band, and choir were prepared to continue our historical superior marks at CMEA. Although we did not compete in person this year, we are proud of our students for continuing their journey in the visual and performing arts and cannot wait to see what they do at their high schools. Green Acres is unique in the Central Valley for many reasons, and one we are most proud of is our Little Theater. For 41 years, our students have been hosting Broadway-style musicals, and our eighth graders participated in two very successful shows. As seventh graders, they performed The Little Mermaid, and this year performed Susical, virtually of course. With nearly 80 students in each production, we continue to be the bar for excellence in musical theater. Our eighth grade athletes stayed poised during these challenging times, though we were not able to compete on our traditional Charger athletic teams. Our cohorts and intramural sports included almost every eighth grade athlete, consisting of over 80 students since their inception this past October. Our clubs continue to be busy this year, but in a virtual way. One of our most participated clubs this year was a new club, the Creativity Club, where students enjoyed working on many fun projects, including macrame and bullet journaling. Our clubs that continue to have outstanding participation from our eighth grade class were our Outdoors Club, Kahoot Club, and even our bi-weekly leadership sponsored games club. Green Acres has its second year of the Outdoors Club. Students learned outdoor skills, planted seeds, made terrariums, and encouraged each other to get outside with our bi-weekly outdoor challenges. We were so impressed how our eighth graders were able to stay connected virtually with our online clubs this year. Students, you deserve to be proud of your accomplishments as individuals and as members of your teams and organizations. 
and I commend you for all that you have achieved while at Green Acres Middle School. I know you are well set for future successes because you worked hard, you got involved, and you did the right thing. And I encourage every one of you to explore those opportunities and find those things that let you test your talents, interests, and abilities. And more than anything, remember that both here at high school and at home, there are people who love and care about each of you and your continued success. Thank you. At this time, I would like to ask our ASB presidents, Cody Burton and Jennifer Gagnon, to deliver a message to their fellow class of 2025. Hi, I'm Cody Burton I'm, and I am your ASB co-president. And before I start, I just want to thank everybody who came out today, teachers, staff members, family and classmates. This year was tough without a doubt and I cannot believe school turned out how it did. I was surprised that half the time we were at middle school, we were online, but in the end, school turned out pretty great. Many students face online struggles, such as not being able to be in person with friends and teachers and having a lot of responsibility put onto our shoulders to attend classes and complete assignments. Through it all, we still found a way to get through the tough times. We were able to build closer relationships with friends, gain more knowledge on how to use technology and learn how to be responsible and get our work done with only online support. As this school year is coming to an end, we look to the future and know we have many more things to look forward to in high school such as being able to build more friendship with new people, make an impact on people around us, and getting ready for our real lives outside of school. I want to thank the entire Green Acres community for always being there for us and helping us when needed. I would also like to thank all of the teachers who were always there for us, even if it was by computer and not in person. I'm so glad we had the teachers we had because they pushed us to do the best and showed us we should never give up on anything. I'm thankful for the friends the friends I've made over the years, I was at Green Acres, they helped shape me as a person and taught me many things. Thank you to my classmates, thank you to my classmates, families, and all the staff for coming out to our promotion to celebrate the class of 2021. If I one word advice for the promotion class of 2021, it would to always find the bright side in things. We'll face hardships in high school and we cannot let that stop us. We have to overcome it and move on with our lives. We made so many memories during our years here at Green Acres and I believe we'll make many more in high school. Congratulations fellow classmates. We made it through our class in 2021 and I'm looking forward to seeing as many as you as possible in the future. Hi, my name is Jennifer Gagnon. I'm the ASB co-president. I want to start by thanking the administrators, teachers and parents for being here today. We did it. I want to start by stating the obvious. This year was tough. As humans, we tend to look at the negative in situations, so let's look at the positive. I'm confident that this class can handle anything that life throws at us because we were able to get through middle school and a pandemic. We did it together. We are all unique and different, but as we walked around campus, we all had one thing in common. We were middle schoolers. Whether we were going from class to class or at lunch, we all had it in the back of our heads that we would only be here for two years. Now, we have to remember as we become high schoolers, we are doing it together. These two years were interesting, definitely a time we will never forget. It was a time where we had to be creative and a time where we had to be especially thankful for our parents, teachers, and school. We made some fun memories in seventh grade, all the pizza Fridays, games at lunch, and getting to sit at a table with all of your friends. I'm beyond happy that we are able to finish this year strong in person. Our teachers have been there to watch us on our first day of seventh grade to now. We, they have seen us grow and helped us succeed in our time at Green Acres. Teachers and administrators were the ones that made all the fun days happen. The ice cream and treats at dances, the awesome DJ during fr fun Fridays. I want to thank the administrators and teachers for making our middle school experience fun. Personally, I think this year flew by and I'm nervous for next year, but I know we're all going to enjoy it if we go in with a smile on our faces. So in conclusion, we made it and I can't wait for the next four years of our lives. Make sure to stop and look around because it's going to fly by. Our next recognition will be that of our coveted banner awards. These awards are given in four categories for outstanding citizenship, the Hope of America Kiwanis Award, 
for Outstanding Athletic Performance and Participation, the Outstanding Charger Athlete Award, for Outstanding Academic Achievement, the Principals Award, and last but certainly not least, our Charger of the Year Award. These two top students encompass not only excelling in all areas on campus, but also our motto of work hard, get involved, and do the right thing. Names of these students who earn these awards hang on the banners in our Jerry Murphy Center. The banner for Kiwanis Hope of America goes to Marilee Kuhn and Cody Burton. The banner for Outstanding Charger Athlete goes to Jackson Griffiths and Brooklyn Teo. The banner for Principals Award goes to Corey Santos and Gabriel Atienza. Lastly, I am so proud to honor our Chargers of the Year for 2021, Tyler Sapisap and Isabella De La Toro. All eight of these students are outstanding examples of what we seek in our Charger students. Congratulations. Hello, Green Acres, Chargers class of 2021. My name is Brandon Smith with the Kiwanis Club of Downtown Visalia, and I am presenting the Hope of America Award. The Hope of America Award was established by the Kiwanis Kalneva Foundation to recognize and encourage students who have demonstrated academic accomplishments, leadership, and good character. The leadership at Green Acres has selected two students who exemplify these characteristics. And our club is proud to present this year's award to Marilee Kuhn and Cody Burton. Eighth graders, I am Mr. Shin, the principal of Redwood High School, and I'm here today to congratulate you on your promotion from eighth grade, as well as to give you some words of wisdom prior to you entering high school. As you prepare to enter high school, I would like each of you to remember the following six words. Get involved, work hard, be nice. If you remember to focus on those six words over the next four years, then I can assure you that you'll have a great high school experience. Today, I want you to focus on the first two words, get involved. I challenge each of you to get involved in as many things as possible in high school. You see, high school is what you make it. There are so many opportunities for each of you to be involved in something positive at your high school. Our high schools in Visalia offer many different things for students to be involved in before school, during school, and after school. Our high schools in Visalia not only offer strong academic and athletic programs for each of you, but we also offer lots of fun co- and extracurricular programs for our students. However, it's up to each of you to get involved in high school. Lastly, the promotion certificate you will receive today should not just be seen as a reward. It is an accomplishment as well as an obligation to move forward to continue your learning as it rep represents your promotion to the next level. The promotion certificate also indicates that you are no longer middle school students. And I'm excited to say to you, congratulations on your promotion and welcome to high school. Congratulations once again to all of our eighth grade promotees from the Green Acres Middle School. On behalf of the entire staff at Green Acres and the VUSD Board of Trustees, I would like to commend our students on an outstanding two years and look forward to all the outstanding accolades this class of 2025 will surely accomplish.